happens if we don't get immigration reform and we don't see the vision that you just laid out realized. So that's the policy question. And then on the politics, as you just finished saying, the administration has a very ambitious agenda. Its commitment to this issue is real, but is it realistic? And how do you see it being realized? Thank well, you. thank you for those easy questions. <laughs> um, look, um, uh, securing the border requires uh, technology uh, that continues to improve. Uh, it requires manpower. Uh, it requires infrastructure, particularly near some of the urban areas along the border. Uh, but uh, you have to have a system uh, that also uh, permits legal immigration, because otherwise the incentives are always the reverse. Uh, and the incentives are very cruel incentives. The incentive is to undertake a very expensive and dangerous crossing uh, between the ports of entry. Now, um, we have, uh, I think, attained uh, basically control between those ports of entry. Um, but you know, but uh, we need to have better laws that allow us to go after the smugglers who are making money out of this deal, uh, better laws to make sure that employers aren't creating that constant demand uh, uh, for uh, workers to cross uh, through the desert, uh, and if we don't have those laws, uh, particularly when the economy uh, begins to rebound, what I fear is uh, that we will see another wave of illegal immigration despite, despite the massive law enforcement resources that are at the border. Now in terms of the, the, uh, whether this is doable in the Congress, um, uh, look, uh, I've talked to and I've spent a lot of time talking to members of Congress over the past months, uh, individually and collectively. Uh, they all recognize that this is an issue that's not going away and that without a, a solid immigration policy that's modernized for the 21st century, that provides the enforcement tools we need, that uh, helps us streamline the liberalization process and that deals firmly and realistically with those already in the country. Uh, that we, we have a tremendous Achilles heel. Uh, we have an Achilles heel economically, also on a security basis. Now, how do we get that done? Uh, well, I think there are uh, members of the Congress and in the leadership uh, uh, who are working even now uh, on potential legislation. Uh, we are providing uh, technical assistance uh, for them. Uh, and I think the hope is that when we get uh, into the first part of 2010, that we will see legislation begin to move. Well, we look forward to that.